So with uh, those milestones in mind and the kind of timeline that we have to work with, which is very finite, uh, this is kind of how we had imagined it uh, going. We're in week three right now. Uh, from the end of this meeting, uh, I think we're pretty confident that we can develop a project plan by uh, next Monday. So that would put that at the start of week four. Um, after that, uh, within two weeks, I think we should be able to develop a test plan and procedures. So that would be delivered uh, on Monday of week six. Um, the uh, actual testing, I think, may take a little bit longer uh, than two weeks. So I think if we give ourselves four weeks, uh, that puts us in week 10. And I think that's a safe window for us to uh, get a good test run in and uh, really have a good look at the way you guys are managing your assets. So we would uh, present our results and reports uh, on Monday of week 10. And then from there, we can draft recommendations and draft a presentation. So uh, I guess given the timeline again, uh, we take two weeks to draft recommendations. That puts it Monday of week 12. Uh, the draft of the presentation would be Monday of week 14. And then week 16, which is our final week, uh, we thought that we could come in and present to you at the start of that week. Does that sound like a realistic timeline? Yeah, that all sounds real good to me. I've, I'm going to be out of the office and unavailable week five, so you're going to need to get anything to me uh, if you need my feedback on it or participation by the end of week four. Okay. And uh, otherwise, I'll have uh, Rex available as well as a backup for feedback and information. All right, and, and that sounds okay because uh, from what I you know, was looking at, I don't think that we're going to have any milestones in week five, although we will give you a status update. Um, Great. Now, as we're going through this and, and hitting these milestones and giving you this, these documents, uh, the more feedback that you can give us, you know, the better our final product is going to be for you. So we were hoping that Rex could provide us with feedback from three business days. That way we can, you know, take that, internalize it, and, and actually uh, use it to help shape what we're doing. Do you think that, that three days is uh, uh, short or long enough for him to get back to us knowing that he's probably got other things he's working on as well? I think three days is very reasonable. And if he doesn't get back to you, let me know, and uh, I can help you out. So uh, just to reiterate what we've talked about, uh, right now we're going to look at performing an audit for the sake of coming up with a process uh, to track your IT assets, specifically your hard drives due to the problem you've had with losing them in the past. Uh, we'll know uh, when we're successful. The success of this project is basically if we can identify why that's happened and make recommendations of how we can prevent that from happening again. Uh, during this, uh, during this uh, project, Rex will be the sponsor. Uh, a couple other stakeholders will be Ray with logistics, Maria with bu uh, in the budget department. Uh, we've decided that our milestones will be the project plan in week four, testing procedures in week six, testing results in ten, draft recommendations week twelve, draft presentation uh, of draft of the presentation in fourteen, and then the final presentation in week sixteen and that our communication will be done. SAS reports weekly, face-to-face -face every two weeks. And uh, as we're communicating back and forth, we need uh, the responses within three days. Uh, it, that's everything I have in my notes. Does that sound like what we've been talking about to you? I think it all sounds real great. I'm looking forward to it. Sounds good. All right, thank you. Thank you.